Michelle Duggar from TV's 19 Kids and Counting on the show today. I've had her on the show before. She's a lovely woman, truly just a dear. She, she, her personality is like her voices, such a sweet and dear person. My name is Jenny, and I'm a wife and mom raising two kids. But I used to live a more glamorous life as a TV reporter. I was on the nightly news interviewing pop stars and politicians, So when I said goodbye to TV and hello to motherhood, I suddenly discovered what we moms are up against. We live in a world that tells us to be rich and famous, thin and successful. You know, almost nobody says, oh, hey, you're a mom? That is fabulous. But you are fabulous. And I'm here to tell you why. It's Channel Mom with Jenny Dean Schmidt. We're here for you. Brought to you by the Healthy Marriage Project. Just click on one of their ads to find out about a healthy relationship workshop near you. Hey, welcome back to Channel Mom. So glad to have you. We uh, are also fond of all the fans and friends and family that have been following us. I want to say hello to all of them. I also have to say happy anniversary to my husband. Today is our 24th wedding anniversary. I've known my husband since I was four years old. And I want to be uh, very newsy and say that uh, I think a prince has now been born on our anniversary. I believe Princess Kate gave birth to a son today on our wedding anniversary. I'm sure that was intentional on her part. Uh, Speaking of all those sponsors that you just heard from, those people are really supporting moms, so please know that. If you'd like to do your business with them, we would be honored if you do so because they do support this show and they support motherhood and families. And one other person to mention, uh, my pastor has written a book that's causing quite a stir in the Christian community. It's called Why We Eat Our Own. And this book gets very real about how Christians judge each other, gossip about each other, unfriend each other, refuse to forgive each other. And unfortunately, sometimes they make the rest of the world question why these people call themselves Christians. But here's the great thing. He admits his own hurt, and he he himself is a pastor, and admits his own hurt from the Christian community as he was growing up in it, as right after he became a Christian. He gets very honest that sometimes church people can be a little angrier and more divided than ever before. And he's concerned about it. But the beautiful thing is, is a bo- it's a book that really can help heal some of those who've been hurt by the church, some of those who have wounds from the church, some of those who've run away from God because of the church. And he asks you to give it another chance because none of that stuff is God's fault. So I urge you to go pick up a copy of Why We Eat Our Own or go uh, order it on Amazon.com, Why We Eat Our Own by Michael Cheshire, my pastor. And he's a fun writer. He's hilarious. So there you go. All right. So excited to have the, I think I've had Michelle Decker on the show. I've had the privilege of having her on, I believe four times. And Michelle, of course, is known as a mother worldwide because she happens to have 19 children. But she's one of those people that believes that her mission uh, is to let other people know how important motherhood and family and children are. Uh, She she and Jim Bob both want to let people know that she believes that all children are a gift and a blessing from God. And I appreciate that message because sometimes we forget that. And that's why she's agreed to do the show because she wants to get that message out. She's also a licensed real estate, uh, I don't know what you call that. Michelle, what do you call that? <laughs> a licensed real estate agent. Agent. There you go. I just lost that word. And and people probably don't know that about you. And you also teach homeschool, of course, and you do a lot of other things. You write a book. You're a new New York Times bestseller. So welcome to the show, Michelle Duggar. Oh, thank you, Jenny. It's a joy to be here. And I, I actually have Jim Bob with me uh, today as well. We celebrated our 29th wedding anniversary yesterday. I know. We're very close. And I was you beat me to it, Michelle. I was going to wish you and Jim Bob a happy anniversary. So happy 29th anniversary. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Yes, we're so glad to have you both. <laughs> People, please understand that, I, that I've met these folks in person. Of course, we've all watched them on 19 Kids and Counting on TLC, but uh, they're authentic. And I watched you, Jim Bob and Michelle, at a conference that we went to in Minnesota together called Hearts at Home. And you stayed in that conference, I believe, for more than three hours waiting for everybody in the line to get to you so that you could hug them and encourage them and sign books for them and chat with them about their lives. And I, and I thought to myself, now that's humility that you're not being the superstars that have to rush out after, you know, 10 minutes, you really take it seriously to love on the audience out there that is watching what you're doing and how you're raising your family. Is that correct, Jim Bob? Well, we, Jim and I both agree, our, my favorite time is when I get to talk one-on-one with okay. the moms. That's my favorite. 
And so any time that we are able to do that, that's our joy. Um, sometimes we do have to rush out if we're trying to, you know, make it to another connection or have the children waiting on us. But usually uh, we want to visit one-on-one. Yeah, and I, and you you both did that very well that day, Jim Bob. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> you talked to a lot of women. I was impressed. <laughs> he felt like a fish out of water. <laughs> yeah, I, I imagine. I imagine, but he did a good job. Um, you know, I, I have to just ask quickly. You know, I, I, as I've been doing research again on you guys, as I've done over the years, several times before I've had you on, um, you also take criticism from people. People get angry that you've had 19 children. And, and Michelle, you had a conversation with a woman once on my show who has 11 children here in the Denver area, and she said somebody came up to an, her in a mall and said that she should be spayed and neutered. What, how do you react to that? Why do you think people get angry about the fact that you have so many children or how you're raising your children or that you homeschool? What's going on there? Why are people angry? Well, I think different people just have their different opinions, and I think some people are more verbal about expressing their opinion and so our heart really is that we believe children are a blessing and a gift from god and we love our children we are so grateful to god for each one of them and i know if you were to ask any of them they would be quick to say they're grateful to be here they are happy to to be um alive to be in our family and we just really feel like um they're a blessing and a gift, and we're just enjoying them. They, they are. I mean, every night I say a blessing over my own kids who are 14 and 10. I do not have 19. I only have two. <laughs> but I say a blessing over them. And, and I'm quick to remember that they're, they're, they are gifts. They truly are. Even on the tough days, they're gifts. Do you yes. have tough days, by the way, Jim Bob? I mean, it seems like your kids never disobey. Do you have tough days? Uh, just think of your own two and just think of multiplied 19 times over and that's what we've got <laughs> yes so, so you admit yeah. that you do it like your kids will act up despite the good training oh yeah we have challenges every day and they're all in kind of training process and uh along with us we yeah. are too yeah yeah those almost got me trained <laughs> <laughs> um now you had different upbringings michelle had a pretty stable home and jib bob you when i last time i had the two of you on and i talked to you about marriage uh you were very honest about the fact that you grew up in a tough situation and your mom in some ways not completely was like a single mom and uh that you some you know your house went into foreclosure, I believe. You just had a number of problems, yet you feel so strongly about now leading your family in the way that was not necessarily led for you. Is that correct? Yes. I really believe it's important for men to be the spiritual leaders of their home and encourage the family. And then the mom sets the mood for the home. And together, uh, the husband and wife, the mom and dad, can really encourage the, the children spiritually. But ultimately now the children have to make their own choice whether to follow the Lord or not. Yeah. Yeah, is that tough to let that go? Well, I think we all have a choice, you know, and I tell my children it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. At some point you're going to come up to a crisis of faith in your life, and you need to know ahead of time where are you going to turn when things get tough and you don't understand, answers don't seem to be right in front of your face. You need to cry out to God. You really need to make your faith with the Lord your own and not just follow what you've learned or known all your life in our home. And so I think it really does. It, there comes this time in their life they're going to have to really know who God is to them and in their life and walk with Him. Yeah, yeah. And that, I mean, wow, I, now that my son's 14, I'm, I recognize he's going to go to college here eventually, and, and I don't have control over that. I, I grew up without the same kind of faith that I have now been trying to lead my children to, so it's a tough thing to let go.